Now, you've been actually uh, posting to atop the fourth wall since 2007, going on nearly five years now. Uh, when you created your very first episode, did you ever think, hey, I may have something here, or was it just more like uh, crossing your fingers and hoping type moment? Well, mind you, in 2007, I wasn't exactly doing episodes. Yeah. Uh, when I started off, I was starting doing text reviews. Uh, my hope was always that I would be like the comic book equivalent of the Agony Booth or Jabutu's movie reviews, both of which are awesome sites that do uh, text reviews of movies, though the Agony Booth has started expanding into video reviews of stuff, and I really need to find some time to watch some of their stuff. Uh, but otherwise, I always hoped that I would be somewhat popular, but I didn't think it would take off the way it has, considering comic books are kind of a niche market, and... It's surprising to me to hear a good chunk of my audience doesn't read comic books and doesn't want to read comic books. They just think it's funny. I, I, I actually hate to say that, but I, I do kind of fall slightly into that category. When I was a little younger, I, I was very into comic books. Of course, you know, as you get older, sometimes you just kind of fall out of it a little bit. And actually, because of you, I've started to get back into it again. So, I, yeah, thank you for that as well. It's bringing back a little bit of childhood nostalgia for me. So No problem. <laughs> Now, as many fans may or may not know, you were picked up by that guy with the glasses as a result of a contest that that site had hosted, correct? Not right? exactly. Uh, what happened there was that I did submit uh, a bit for the Ask That Guy with the Glasses contest, uh, and that contest took like forever to have the results come out. <laughs> uh, but they, with them, they didn't exi they didn't. I didn't start doing the reviews until shortly after I had made that video because I had so much fun making the ass that guy with the hat video. Huh. Uh, that I decided, you know, I can try. Why don't I try to do what they do on the site, but with comic books, and see how that works out. And around the same time, my uh, my family had put together the wedding DVD for my aunt, and we had to, and one of the programs we had used to to make the stuff move around. Uh, was both iMovie and a Windows program called uh, uh, Windows Photo Story. And I thought, hey, it's, it, it, the way to keep this from getting boring, uh, instead of just having still panels, is that I will zoom in, move across the page, and that will be more interesting visually than just having a still image there. Uh, so that's how I was inspired to do the way that a top the fourth wall works currently, and has worked since uh, since its inception. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, get on the site because of the Ask That Guy contest. I submitted to the site normally, uh, by sending, sending, I made like, I think seven or eight episodes by that point, uh, submitted to Mike Mashad and three days later he contacted me at like four in the morning. Huh. I don't remember why I was up at four in the morning, <laughs> but it was like a Saturday or something and said, hi, we, we watch this. We think it's really funny. Would you be interested in getting onto the, onto the site? And we, I was like, Hell yeah. 